Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Previously, I published a video for using AMD GPU on Windows to run stable diffusion. One drawback of it is that it's a command line application, so you need to use command line, like line by line, so that's not really ideal. So I also received a lot of feedback for turning it into a web interface. So I wrote a Python script that can do that. So today I will gonna show you how to do that. So it will be a following up to previous video. So make sure you have your environment ready so you can continue here. So I will do a quick demo. So you will need to open your prompt, the Anaconda prompt. You will activate your environment. Conda activate. It's, that's the name of your environment for the, diffu the stable diffusion. So, for example, I use the SD39 new. So, I will end here. And uh, there is one additional package you need to install. It's called uh, Gradia. So, that's a Python package. PIP install Gradia. It's a Python package that's used uh, to create uh, user interface for machine learning applications. So basically, there's a lot of machine learning models to be able to de uh, deploy them easily. So people use this package. So you can do that. It will be uh, quick. And after that, I think, uh, yeah, your environment is ready. We are ready for next step. So for the uh, next step, I created a Python script and shared it here. So please download it to your local computer. So you can download it. It's it's a simple Python script. It's using the Gradia package. You can see it here. And it basically, it will use the Gradia package to create an interface here. So you can provide your input, and it will run the model and create your output. One enhancement I did is that uh, I also added the negative prompt. So in in addition to the prompt, you can also uh, provide the negative prompt. So in this case, the negative prompt is uh, optional. So you can do that or you don't need it to. So, all right, after, after you download the script, let's, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use my another environment. So that's uh, conda activate sd39 for the demo. And uh, after you download the Python script, you can uh, remember last time you downloaded the model called a stable diffusion OMMX. So in this case, for the downloaded Python script, you need to put it uh, into the stand directory. So in this case, it will be my user username directory. So I will copy it uh, here. And uh, once it's ready, yeah, make sure you have this one and uh, and this one. They are in the same directory, and then. In your command line, you c you will be able to. Um, let me see, able to run it. So web UI py, and the and the one. Okay, let's. Uh, so the launch may take a a while, so it's. 
need to load the model, which is a bigger model. So it will take uh, maybe around the one minute to launch. Once once the model loaded, the script will launch a web server. So you will see that in your web browser. Okay, so here it is the interface. It's uh, a server that's on your local host. So you can, if it, if your browser doesn't open, you can enter it manually using this uh, URL. So, so quite simple. On the left, they are in the input prompt and the negative prompt, which is optional. On the right, it will be your output. There's also one option that allow you to download the output. So uh, we can try. So today is the last day of 2022. And uh, we'll say Happy New Year 2023. And uh, we can try 4K. Imaginations Disneyland Okay, let's submit All right, so after a while it uh, successfully generated the image Wow, yeah, happy new year everyone so as you can see here below the image there's a option that allows you to download it you can, you can download it to your pc okay yeah so i think that's basically it right now it's a very simple user interface so i'm hoping that uh, i can add more like a input uh, parameters option here so probably make it uh, like an upgrade to it but for now i think uh, you will able to do that easily in your browser so yeah so last thing how to shut down it so within your commander uh, prompt you can press ctrl and c so it will stop the server